Hello and welcome to the official map guide series. Ever wondered where to go on a map and help your team win? Well, here's how. Today we'll be covering key and handy positions on Himmelsdorf in the standard battle mode. This map is characterized by two vertical planes which are separated. The hill with the castle lording over the whole map and the lower streets of Himmelsdorf as well. Both of those planes are connected by sniping and spotting avenues that are scattered everywhere. As Himmelsdorf is a map that consists mostly of tight corners and enclosed streets, for light tanks at the start of the game, we suggest taking these routes here to generate information for their allies without immediately endangering themselves, so later on they can team up and maybe help their allies win the crucial fights. Now let's talk about the hill. As it is quite a way up from the spawns, both from the north and the south, we recommend only going there in semi-fast to fast vehicles. Be careful though, as your team isn't able to generate information onto the enemy tanks that are driving up, you should be very very hesitant to overcommit in those positions here and especially when going around the hill, because this might lead to your immediate demise if the enemy is coming with superior numbers. Next, let's talk about something that players like to call the banana. Situated in the 7-8 line, it is a street that uh, basically enables players to duke it out in very close distance. However, this means that your tank should have any of the following. High alpha, good penetration and most importantly very very strong armor. For tanks with especially sturdy turrets, we suggest maybe taking the windows that overlook the middle of the map, like so. And this one is the last position here, because from there, not only can you control the streets that run like this through Himmelsdorf, but also you can plan your next actions. Be careful though. If the enemy team has the hill under their control, they will easily be able to farm into your sides, like so. So as always, you should keep an eye on the minimap. If you happen to spawn on this map in a self-propelled gun, we suggest the locations in K1 and A1, as from there not only do you have shots over the complete rails, which is the 1 and 2 line here, but you should also have nice and juicy fire onto the hill, where you can enable your allies to win the crucial fights. By the way, talking about the 1 and 2 line of the map, this area that is, as previously mentioned, called the rails, is mostly reserved for vehicles that have good camouflage values or for example very very sturdy TDs if their light tanks are able to provide spots for them. Sometimes you may not even find enemies there. In that case it can be very crucial for your team if you manage to advance as this tends to open up the map significantly. If you happen to spawn in the north and you have a fast vehicle with a good turret you can try sneaking this way here into the G23 area, which offers a hold down position and not only will you have shots onto the hill from it, but also you can fire onto this location here, where remember the heavy enemies will be duking it out with your allies. Should you be spawning from the south and your team is happening to win the rails, then you can attempt this bold move here through the square into this position, as from there you can get very very close and have different angles of shots onto the enemy heavy tanks, so there you might be able to catch them by surprise. As Himmelsdorf is such a small and intertwined map, it's great for learning minimap awareness, so you're ready for when that enemy peaks that next corner. That should be all for today, Commanders. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified of future map guides. Roll out.